Welcome back listeners to another exciting episode we will be discussing about product management I'm your host Josefa and today we will be diving deep into the topic of becoming a successful product manager and discovering the path to product manager excellence so product management is an ever evolving field that requires a unique set of skills and expertise today we have a product manager expert with us that will be telling us about all the details regarding it so without further ado how are you amin nasar and kindly introduce yourself to the audience um thank you josefa for the warm welcome uh it's an honor to be here as a guest on your product podcast by introducing myself uh, my name is amin nasar and i'm a product manager at a company called Respond.io. Uh, I'm working on developing an omni-channel business uh, messaging solution. And uh, I have expertise in different uh, fields, such as real estate management, fintech, and uh, mobile development as well. Okay, great, great. Let's start with the first question that, what is product management? Okay, um, product management is the process of overseeing the development and success of a product. It involves understanding the market, defining the product's vision and strategy, and collaborating with teams to bring it to the market. Product managers track metrics and gather feedback to continuously improve the product and uh, stay ahead of competitors. At its core, product management requires a deep understanding of the market and competition. This entails conducting research, uh, analyzing customer needs to identify opportunities for improvement, and many more. Product managers uh define a product vision that aligns with the market demand based on all the research conducted uh collaboration with cross functional team is also essential throughout the product man- development cycle uh, product managers work closely with engineering design marketing and sales to prioritize features set goals and make strategic decisions for a successful product launch once the product is in the market product managers uh have to track metrics and gather feedback to measure its performance and identify areas for improvement this data driven approach enables them to uh, make informed decisions and drive iterative enhancements ensuring a valuable user okay, experience okay okay that was very insightful so the next question is how can someone become a successful product manager That's a really good question. Uh, I get this question asked a lot. Um I think firstly being data driven is crucial. Successful product managers leverage data to make informed decisions. Uh they use this data to identify threats and understand customer behavior. Additionally, delivering a value at a low cost is key aspect to focus on. Successful product managers constantly seek way to maximize value while keeping costs in check. They explore efficient processes, leveraging uh, on technology and optimize resource allocation to achieve a balance between customer satisfaction, uh, sorry, customer satisfaction and business objectives. Uh, furthermore, I think staying ahead of the market requires a keen eye on the competition. Okay. Successful product managers are always curious about industry trends, emerging technologies and competitors yeah. offering. Um one last thing is uh I think embracing innovation and creativity is essential for success. Great product managers are open to new ideas, encourage a culture of innovation and foster an environment that supports yeah. creativity. All the points that you have mentioned, they are some great points, but uh for the beginner like what will be your advice like how they can grow because uh all the things that you are telling it for a new person or a person who does not have experience in product management he might be confused or over overwhelmed about all this knowledge so what uh, you can say about uh, a beginner guy who just want to start in this field yeah i understand uh a lot of whenever i'm talking about product management it can look as intimidating so i understand where you're coming from uh so yeah i think my advice would be uh to start by gaining practical experience uh look for opportunities to work on real world projects even if they're small scale yeah. or personal this hands on experience will provide valuable insights into the uh, typical challenges and dynamics of the product management field additionally i think it's crucial to continually learn and stay updated on the industry trends uh this can be done by attending conferences online courses workshops and actively networking with other product managers and asking them questions to expand your knowledge and stay connected to the evolving landscape. I personally uh sign up for tons of online courses on Udemy and read some interesting uh books 
uh, that are uh, well acclaimed on yeah, product management. That you are right because continuous learning and practical experience is, I think, the key path. Like, if you want to learn, you have to do courses. You have to also get like uh, I would say like there is like a balance. Like you have to do learning as well, and then you have to also like implement it like practically as well. So that is very vital. And are there? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And are there any specific skills or traits that aspiring product managers should focus on developing? Um, well, indeed, yes, Huzaifa. Uh, I think uh, while technical skills and domain knowledge are valuable, product managers should also possess some other crucial uh, soft skills, such as uh, strategic thinking, problem solving, communication skills, and last but not least, uh, leadership yeah. skills. Yeah. yeah, that is right. And can you tell uh, about the importance of product management? Like, uh, for instance, uh, for a layman or a person with less uh, software or IT knowledge, like what is the importance of product management? Like without product management, obviously, I know that we, we cannot develop a good software. But like, what what is your take on that? Okay, yeah, you raise a very good uh, concern. Actually, I believe that product managers play a crucial role on both product-led companies and even startups. They're responsible for delivering a valuable and functional product that meets the needs of the customers because, you know, in the end of the day, all uh, companies and startups, they have one aim to achieve, which is to solve problems for yeah. customers. So this is where uh, product managers can help uh, close the gap. I think by providing a clear direction and focus to the development team, product managers ensure that the successful creation and delivery of a product is actually aligns, uh, or sorry, actually aligns with the company's objectives. Uh, product management is an ongoing process that involves continuous improvement and adaptation. Product managers uh, always actively listen to users' feedback. Uh, they track important metrics and analyze market uh, trends. This helped them identify areas for enhancement and seize new opportunities, allowing the product to stay competitive in the ever-changing uh, market yeah. landscape. Yeah, you're right. I, I believe like without product manager, maybe like a group of developers can uh, make a product, but that won't be very useful or effective or cannot stay in the market for too long. So the product manager like ensures that the product is effective even after three years, four years, market changes, but the still they are also pivoting and they're choosing the right. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm quite glad that you're saying this. Uh, I mean, a lot of uh, companies with developers only might not yeah. like you for that point, but actually you really raise a, a good point. Uh, I mean, uh, look, the developers are doing a great job. I really respect them. But again, uh, they're, they are yeah. humans after all. They can focus on both the research side, the market side, and yeah. the technical development skills. So that's definitely where the product managers uh, help yeah. take off the load. And, you know, uh, they leave the technical things for the technical team and they handle all the competitive uh, market research, uh, the information gathering, product yeah. design, all of that. So definitely yeah. I agree that, with you. That is something that I know personally, like without product manager, your product can be uh, valid or in the market for a few months or a few years. But after that, uh, it is going down. So with that, what is uh, the difference between product manager and project manager? Because I get this a lot and it is very confusing. A lot of people like confuse this, uh, the product manager and project manager. So can you tell this in detail? Like what is the actual difference? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I think you're right. A lot of people often confuse the two roles. And uh, sometimes some of those people see them as interchangeable uh, job roles. But however, I believe this is not the case. Uh, first, first of all, product managers focus on the overall product strategy and vision. Uh, while project managers focus on the day-to-day -day task of a specific project. Uh, second, product managers are responsible for the entire life cycle of a product, while project managers are responsible for the successful delivery of a specific project. Third, product managers often focus on high-level metrics such as revenue, market share, customer satisfactions. On the other hand, project managers focus on project-specific metrics such as timelines, budget, and quality standards. Finally, uh, product managers 
They work closely with various stakeholders, including customers, executives, sales team, and development teams. They gather feedback, prioritize features, and ensure that their product aligns with the customer needs and business objectives. Contrary, project managers primarily focus on managing the project team and coordinating the efforts of different stakeholders involved in the project. They ensure clear communications, resolve conflicts, uh, sorry, resolve conflicts, and keep the project on track. Now, having said that, it is important to note that both roles contribute to the success of an organization. The product manager focuses on the long-term vision and strategy of product, while the project manager concentrates on the successful execution of specific projects within defined constraints. So there are some great insights about the product manager and the project manager. So with that, what are the compelling reasons for individuals to choose a career in product management? Um, I think one needs to ask themselves the following questions. Um, number one, do they have a passion for developing products that solve problems in a creative and innovative way? Number two, are they uh, into getting to look at the bigger pictures of things? Number three, do they want to be building relationships and gaining uh, as well as exchanging knowledge? And number four, are they open to diverse opportunities and uh, fields in the industry? If the answer to all four questions is yes, then product management is definitely one of the career paths they should pursue or at least consider yeah, pursuing. That is that is great. Because I also believe like if you want to like if you are I believe like want to learn about new things, if you have this thing that you love developing software and like planning software, then it's a good feel for you. And if you just like designing or like coding, then I don't think like it is a good feel for you. So, I mean, I have a lot of uh, yeah. friends uh, who actually start off their career yeah. as developers. And when they wanted to look at the bigger picture of things, they transitioned to product management. But uh, yeah, I, th I think like uh, product development and product management, they do share some, some uh, interchangeable uh, yeah. passions. So people can often switch. Yeah, to I also believe that. Yeah, you're right. So with that, uh, because you are a product manager for quite some time and you have worked in uh, Respond.io, big companies, so in the past as well. So I want to ask like uh, this question, like what is your typical day look like? What are the activities that you perform as a product manager the whole day? So, yeah. Sure, that's a good question. Um, there is no definitive answer. But I'm going to give you a typical day that is dynamic and multi uh, faceted because you know, every day is different for yeah. program managers, but I'm just going to give you the, the a streamlined typical day. I think it often starts with reviewing and responding to emails and messages, ensuring effective communication with stakeholders okay. and team members. Uh, next, I spend some time of my day prioritizing tasks and setting goals for the day. Uh, throughout the day, I think I usually engage in various activities such as conducting market research, analyzing customer feedback, and tracking key product metrics. Collaboration plays a crucial role as well. Uh, I meet with cross-functional teams, including engineering, developers, design, marketing, to discuss ongoing projects, gather insights, and ensure that we're all aligned yeah. together. Additionally, a significant part of my day involves uh, strategic planning, where I define product visions, set roadmaps, and prioritize feature development. I also dedicate some of my time to exploring new ideas, researching emerging technologies, and staying updated on uh, industry okay. advancements. Great, great, great. That is quite a lot of things that you do in one day. Like, like yeah. Yeah, we product managers keep yeah. ourselves like busy all day long. Different, so like, it never yeah. gets boring. Yeah, There's different set of activities, <laughs> like not just like one thing doing the whole day. Different set of activities. Yeah. And you have to be very good with time management, yeah. I believe, if you want to be a product manager. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely definitely i need to be able yeah. to switch because if you're stuck in one you. task yeah. and like you can do like two three things that you mention and then the day is over and you are behind schedule so i understand but that's also like uh, the, the fun part of the career path is the different dynamic different tasks you don't uh, get stuck on one boring tedious task you get to explore different type of tasks and jump between them which always keeps you active yeah. and energetic with that with that uh answer that you give the next question is, like, what are the qualities that a product manager should have to be successful in this field? 
Uh, I think this opinion can be a bit subjective, but personally, and based on the books I read and people I talk to, I think uh, there are four primary skills that are necessary for uh, success as a product manager. Uh, firstly, uh, strategic thinking. It is crucial for product managers to align decisions with business objectives by understanding market trends, anticipating customer needs, and identifying growth opportunities. Uh, secondly, um, Strong analytical skills are essential for product managers to gather and interpret data, enabling data-driven decision and feature prioritization and product optimization, and of, of course, identifying areas for improvement. Additionally, effective communication skills are vital as product managers uh, articulate their vision, collaborate with cross-functional team, uh, teams, and influence stakeholders at different organizational levels, ensuring alignment and shared goals. And lastly, uh, leadership uh, skills are necessary for product managers to inspire and motivate teams, empowering members and providing guidance and fostering an environment that encourages innovation and creativity. I think effective leadership allows product managers to navigate challenges, uh, drive initiatives, and achieve success overall. So with that, uh, the next question is, like, what is a typical process that is being followed in product management? Like, uh, for instance, you are developing a new product or you are working, uh, you have to get involved into another uh, product. So what will be like the typical process that you will follow or all the product managers follow? So, yeah. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, the typical process in product management involves a series of important steps facilitated by uh, effective collaboration and strategic decision making. Uh, let's dive into each one. Um, firstly, product managers conduct through a thorough market research to understand customer needs, market trends and competitors. This provides valuable insights for informed decision making. Um, secondly, Based on the market research finding that we just did, product managers define a clear product vision and strategy. This involves setting goals, identifying the target audience, and outlining the unique value proposition of the product. Next, cross-functional collaboration becomes key. Product managers to, uh, have to work closely with teams like engineering, design, marketing, and sales to gather diverse perspectives, align priorities, and foster a cohesive approach to product development. Now, once this collaboration is established, the agile development and testing phase begins. This iterative approach allows for flexibility and faster iterations, ensuring that the product evolves based on the user feedback and market demands. Lastly, uh, I think continuous improvement is an ongoing focus. It's an ongoing process. Product managers analyze metrics, uh, they gather user feedback, and make enhancements to the product based on insights and evol evolving customer needs. Uh, this iterative process drives the product towards success and uh, customer satisfaction. Yeah, great, great, great. And you mentioned like... Uh Obviously, you guys are doing continuous improvement in the product and you guys are getting feedback from customer. So with that, like I have a question in mind that how do you guys get the feedback from customers? Like what are the ways like can you also mention them? Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, there are tons of different methodologies and framework. Uh, First, of course, you can set up your product to track uh, data, uh, set up uh, tools like Mixpanel, Segment.io, whatever you prefer. And this basically helps uh, streamlines of the customer behavior that you can observe. You can use the data to uh, see whether the users are actually doing uh, the thing you want them to do. Are they uh, dropping off uh, a specific uh, uh, step in the funnel? And uh, just monitor the... the, the uh, behavior of the user. The next thing is you can uh, actually uh, conduct uh, customer uh, interviews to gather feedback or send out surveys to uh, hear people's opinion. You can also set up like a public board for users to give feedback through reviews, feature requests. There are just tons and tons of ways you can explore uh, uh, customer feedback yeah, gathering. Yeah, that is very good points that you have mentioned. And I have also worked with this like segment IO, mix panel and all that. And I think it is very ex exciting, like, because you get to know about like the whole user journey, like how many users are going to that particular page, but they are not buying it. And then you can attach uh, different tools, like different separate pro uh, things with that, like customer uh, IO, like there are like different tools that send notification based on user behavior. So 
because then like it it becomes very powerful it is like uh, you get to know like user behavior based on that you can send notification to user you can like give them some uh, discount coupons or something because you know that this guy has come to that particular point but in the end he stops so we can make him click that button or yeah. pay the x amount of money so these things yeah for sure and and, and th- this is where the part of uh, actually collaboration with different teams come into play uh, we often like work with a marketing and growth team uh, to identify uh, how to bring back those users who uh, we lost at a certain point so definitely this is where the product management collaboration yeah. uh, part of the whole process kicks in another thing i personally really like doing is ab testing so for example let's suppose there is a button right and uh, two people are conflicted they say the red button is nice the other people say the blue button is nicer so we can actually put this into test by having ab test we show some segment of people uh the red button and show other segment of people the blue button and based on the data collection uh final that we set up we see which color actually gets more clicks yeah that is that is uh also very good and exciting to hear about this like because uh usually like people see just one product they don't know like what are the different type of innovation going on in the background and how you guys are collecting the data and then making the decision then deciding upon like you have you, you guys like have different list of features then you guys decide like this feature the developers will work on the designers will work on so yeah very insightful so yeah, yeah. thanks 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 for allowing me to 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 share yeah. those insights and what are the key challenges and opportunities faced by product manager in their roles hmm that's a very good question hosefa uh i think being product manager certainly has its fair share of challenges but it also opens up really exciting opportunities i think when it comes to challenging one of the biggest uh, ones is balancing competing priorities as a product manager you're constantly juggling the needs of different stakeholders like engineering designs marketing and sales another challenge is effective communication because as a product manager you need to be able to clearly convey your product vision and collaborate with cross functional teams to all work together towards yeah. this vision um managing stakeholder expectations is another challenge uh you have to navigate differing viewpoints to find the right balance between satisfying everyone's need while ensuring the final product aligns with the company's goals and the target audience uh lastly there's this challenge of leadership without formal authority you're leading a team of diverse individual from different departments and different uh, uh levels but you don't have direct authority over them So building trust, influencing decisions and inspiring others are essential skills for driving your product forward and this is where the leadership with authority challenge comes kicking in. Yeah. Yeah, I certainly believe now, uh, on these. No, uh sorry, I I forgot about but you also asked uh, for the opportunities. Yeah, uh, uh enough about all the negative uh, challenges. Let's talk about some of the exciting opportunities that product managers get to enjoy. Yeah. Uh first and foremost, there's the satisfaction of making a tangible impact. you have the chance to shape the uh, and deliver products that genuinely meet customer needs uh, and solve real world problems uh next i think the cross functional collaboration is also a major perk working with diverse teams you get to learn from different perspective and you get to foster a collaborative environment uh as as a part of uh your journey in the product management it's an opportunity for continuous le- learning and personal growth and of course uh, let's not forget about the competitive compensation yeah. uh given the strategic importance of the product manager roles and the impact it has on the success of a product companies often uh, offer alter- attractive compensation packages to attract and retain top talents in the product management yeah field. that is that is some exciting opportunities that you have mentioned in the end i think that will interest uh, a lot of user because challenges like uh people like when they hear different challenges they get like scared but it is good like we discuss the challenges also <laughs> we end up the whole uh thing with I mean, the, opportunities the, the world is yeah. it's a balance of challenges yeah. and opportunities yeah. right yeah, yeah definitely right. definitely it's understandable yeah. so what is like the career path in product management like uh how the people start like as a junior product manager or as an associate then how you become senior or like what is the product path in this 
yeah, I think uh, understanding a career path of, of any given uh, field is uh, important for a lot of people to make a decision whether they want to join this career path or not. Now, typically, individuals who transition into the product management uh, uh, career path, they usually have prior experience in roles such as developers, business or data analysts, or even product owners in this, in this Scrum environment. As they embark on their journey as uh, junior product managers, they can gradually progress to mid-level positions uh, senior product managers, product leads, or head of products, and even advance further to become product directors. With their extensive uh, experience and well-rounded uh, skill set uh, gained all across all the years of being a product managers, I think eventually some of them will qualify for executive roles such as uh, chief product officers or even chief executive officers for companies. So the next question is, Okay, sure. Do product managers have to code as well or do designing, coding, stuff like that? Um, well, not necessarily. Product managers primarily focus on defining what needs to be developed rather than writing the code themselves. They collaborate closely with expert engineering teams who handle the actual development process. However, it's worth noting that some technical product managers may occasionally write some simple code for a proof of concept or to better understand technical aspects. But overall, coding isn't a prerequisite for the role of product manager. Yeah. Okay. So, is product management a uh stressful job because a product manager has to do like a lot of things so what is your take on that um to be honest like any other job product management can have its moment of stress however it's important to know that it also comes with significant rewards and fulfillment the challenges faced by product managers such as balancing competing priorities managing stakeholder expectations and navigating continuous change can uh, create uh, moments of pressure. However, as I mentioned earlier, the ability to make a tangent, tangible impact, uh, engage in cross-functional collaboration, and see the successful outcome of their work makes it all worthwhile. So while there are occasional stress, the overall experience of being a product manager is highly rewarding. Okay, great, great. So with that, like, is it possible for an introvert to excel in the role of product manager? Because you have to do a lot of communication and stuff as well. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Uh, introverts can excel as product managers, and I can personally attest to that as an introvert myself. In fact, uh, being an introvert can have its advantages in this role because it often pushes us uh, introverts to carefully plan our communication because we're not really always good at social communication naturally, right? So we have to plan our communication beforehand. So it helps ensure that our communication is clear, effective, and well thought out. I think introverts tend to be great yeah. listeners and observers, allowing us to understand the need and perspectives of stakeholders and customers. So definitely introverts uh, can be great product okay. managers. Great, great, great insights. So now as we wrap up our discussion, uh, what can be a final piece of advice from your side to the listener who aspire to become a successful product manager so that you sum up everything that we have discussed in the previous 30, 40 minutes? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, let me think about it. I'd say my final advice would be to stay curious and embrace uh, embrace a growth mindset and develop a passion for solving problems in a creative and innovative way. I think the field of product management is constantly evolving and it's important to be open to new ideas, uh, technologies, and even methodologies and frameworks. I think people should seek opportunities to learn from others, uh, build a strong professional network, and never stop honing their skills that we discussed earlier, especially the, the, the four primarily key skills. Wise words, wise words. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your expertise and shedding light on the path to product manager excellence. We greatly appreciate your time and insight. Well, it was my pleasure, Josefa. Thank you for inviting me to be part of this podcast. I'm, I'm really glad that I could contribute to this conversation. And if my words uh, have inspired even just a few of aspiring product managers to embark on this fulfilling journey, then I consider it a great success. I wish them all the best in their pursuit of the product management uh, excellence and the yeah. field of product yeah. management. Thank you. Thank you. And that brings us to the end of another, another exciting episode of Product Management. 